Welcome back to Competitive Street, I'm Nick. And I'm John. And we're here playing Pirate for Fun and Gaming. And Gilman just got a new skill. I don't know what hey. happened to me there. Uh, like oh my gosh. That's what? it. I don't even know what the other one is, but that's it. That's definitely it. Yay! You Level actually two. get something. So what do you have? Well, Tamitha, soon I'll be catching up to you with this, whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. She was a mastery pet. While flying, she moves faster than normal. That's actually pretty good. For five seconds after banishing an adversary, Tamitha moves 30% eh. faster. All right, let's see what the last one is. Permanently gains plus four to quickness, presence, hope, making her better all around. That's okay. pretty good. Permanently gains eight quickness, making... Um, I think that's better. The quickness? Yeah. Uh, so what are these? This is... These are in rapid succession for less stamina. Okay. That's cool. Um, after saluting... We don't do the salute thing at all. No. With her nearest ally? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Can trigger an aura burst. Um, a winged fury is in effect. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just do this. The yeah, holy power fast. of the eldest matriarch. The Until the next matriarch. right. <laughs> Until the next right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to roll my R's, it's not going well. I sound like I have cookies in my mouth. Okay. After the Nightwing sported the essence in a solid performance, you return to the wagon to, reco to recover and plan your next move. Okay. The time has come to search the stars again and determine where the right shall take you next. Okay. Stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Seek your destination. I don't think you have a choice. <laughs> no, not much you can do there. All right. Can't we look at the book or something? I think so. It'll give you the option. Bling. <laughs> I was waiting. Uh, all right, so we're top, 10 and 0. Oh, Chastity's top now. Oh, with manly, <laughs> manly tender stuff. All right, so can we find him? That's, That's not, not manly. Him. That's, That's not him. No. Nope. Up more. That's not him either. Okay, so who do we have access to? That's um, uh, fate. We can fight the, the dog. One. We had that dog is there. We can fight the dog. Mm -hmm. um, or we could do the worms. They're way down here. Or we could do the other dog. Um, let's do old dog. Okay, old pupper, old doggo. We're, going, we're coming for you, Stinky. I've been working. I, I wanted to try and learn how to do uh, Bobby Hill. Bobby Hill? <laughs> but I, I just I can't do it. I can't get my voice that high. That'll Your next adversaries are to be the fate, headed by Dalbert Oldhart and his son. They show unyielding respect to a tradition which shows them no such love. He then shares with you what details he attained of your next adversaries. Albert Oldheart, an adversary who showed you respect and even generosity. Despite his advanced age, he also made for a formidable opponent, he and his son. No, they did. The so called Almer the Helpless, ever present at his father's side. He was abandoned as an infant before Dalbert found him and raised him as his own. I was going to say, he's not a dog. Dalbert taught his son everything he knew of his cultural heritage. As an ancestor of one of the Alpha chiefs, thought to be descended from Shermer, many made himself. However, his more vocal attempts to preserve old current traditions in the Commonwealth often fell on deaf ears or even roused the anger of the officials. One day, he insisted on celebrating Fang Song against the wishes of his family. His family's caution was well founded in this case, and he was taken into custody. As for Ulmer, as his father was led away, he put up enough of a fight to where he wound up sharing his father's cell. Soon enough, his sentence. In the downside, their fate brought them in contact with a pack of spiritual curs residing in Jumur Valley. In time, they became acquainted with the rites and helped revitalize a long struggling triumvirate known as the Fate. They have since struggled on, at times flirting with freedom, though seldom getting within striking distance. Yet still, they long to find a way to return to their ancestral home and family. Should they succeed in all of this? Only one of them would be in they must know that by now. Either way, you shall see them again soon. Soon. Please, 
Dress yourself for now. Well, uh, well, the dark of night remains. You bid the lone minstrel a good evening. It is too late to take flight, so you make plans to rise at dawn to continue your travels. Oh no, we're gonna talk to somebody. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's Pamath. Pamath. Despite Pamath's mental conditioning, you can tell something is troubling. Marshall Probably that weird this. blue stuff swirling around her back. <laughs> she won't listen to a word I say. Not one darn word. She weren't my blood sister. I should think I'd hate her guts as much as she hates mine. <laughs> she shakes her head. That is bonsai, I should apologize to you and everyone. I sought out Tamitha without asking your leave. Figured I would rather seek forgiveness than permission. You understand. Like when I took your yogurt. Wait, you did took that? <laughs> did you know I took your... I'm sorry. You see? Get it out. It worked out. Get out. <laughs> My attempts with Tamitha didn't amount to much, as well you saw. So at this point, I'm hopeful you'll be more accepting of apologies than she. Though, tell me something. Reader darling, do you suppose I'm going to betray you? You may know better than I do at this point. Um, She's lame, so I trust her. You expressed to Tamitha that you do not view her efforts to make peace with Tamitha as being contradictory to the group's larger goals. You understand why she did what she did. He says nothing for a while. I totally tricked you. I mean, that's kind of you to say, darling. <laughs> May the others see it with such generosity. But if they don't, you need to but you need but to tell me to depart, and I'll be on my way. However, I have a promise that I wish to make to you. Let me stay, and I'll see this through with all of you, no matter where we end up. I'll be on the roof for a bit, I think. You take care too, darling. Don't fall off while we're playing. Nah. Despite Pamitha's disappointment with the outcome of her confrontation with her blood sister, you sense she is less troubled now after your brief conversation. And feel brief. Nice. All right. Let's uh, go to bed. Two time. Your journey. Take off. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> Oh, here we are. The gloom hangs. Peak above the feet of Millie. And all around you. You are brave to seek your adversaries here again. Many in the downside believe it is... They believe it to be nothing other than a foul death. They take the tales of East Lock Asherborn <laughs> to be mythology, embellished through retelling it before time. You have met others, such as which would be dead. Who believe otherwise, though whichever their beliefs, I know of none who would go near the place unless the stars be mounted. Thus shall your coming right against the fates take place in complete secrecy, as always the rights have. Alright. Okay, nope. I guess you can pick right. if you want to drop down a cold note like my follow. Someone who owes him to pass that. There should have Time to pursue your vocations and the uh, way you earn stardust. Uh, what, what do you think? Money, stardust, vocations. vocations? Okay, yeah, let's so. do it. Blorp. Flagging hands. <laughs> you return to the dismal region known as the Flagging Hands. Straight away, you sense an air of dread, yet cling to hope that you can make your stay as brief as possible. You and your fellow exiles have time to yourselves before the day is done. Nonetheless, the dismal environs soon take a toll on everything. Yep. Oh, Figured. come on! We knew it was going to happen. Beyond our Crystal Seeks Bay. Ooh. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to give her a new uh, piece of equipment because this does not help us in this scenario. That's very true. Um, so that's Plus two presence, presence, that's good. Hope. Plus hope. What does hope do? Uh, recovery time? Stamina? Maybe. Um, presence is the aura. Let's try hope. Okay. I hope that. Alright. You ready for this? I can sense you out there somewhere. What is it that you want? You have invoked Sandra from the Beyonder Crystal. You need but choose among those unenlightened fools with whom you travel. She's the only one. Let's do this! 
You have asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Bay. Now, I mean, I must admit, I do sense something from that one. I once had a wild heart myself, quite like her own. We shall see if there is more to her than that. Let us bring her forth. Soon Bay arrives and heeded the summons. The scribes! I think that if I listen carefully, I can hear them calling out to me. Crazy as ever. She always messes me up with the question marks. Yeah. Like, You're like, what? <laughs> uh, what? That's not a question, is it? I don't so I just like put it. I just put an upward inflection at the end of, at the end of the sentence. Well, or it's just everything she says. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh boy. Here we go. It's like, hey, uh, you request one of the trials for Bay and ask that she does not return. <laughs> Yep, is it Apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, girl. The place where you reside at present has but a single rule, which is you answer to me here. Wow, okay, I will. Such naive enthusiasm. Now, be silent. And smile Okay, I will, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it is plain to me that you have much to learn as yet about the rights, but you have learned something and I would see you prove it without the benefit of anyone, save for your reader. Um, okay. Are you out there to help me with this, mister? I don't know. Uh, I so said silence. <laughs> Sandra's pretty sick. Oh, God. You're up against three little Tezos. Three little Tezos. Uh, oh, my goodness. What do I do? They're so quick. They're so quick. No. No, no, no. It was a trick. Wow. It was a trick. Wow. They got me good. Did you see that? They got you real good. That's like the happiest I've ever been to get banished. Oh, go, 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 go. I'm going to go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, that was the most excited I've ever been to be banished. That was really good. So good. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 Everybody just walk into the middle. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, he's so quick. He's so fast. Dude, did you see that? Oh my yes, goodness. I saw it. You have to kill them all or else they'll just get you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. They're so fast, dude. I can't do anything. I just can't stop them. Oh, crap. Dude, that's their strategy. Do you see that? They like throw you the orb and then blow themselves up. Wow. I freaking love it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, okay. Okay, go, 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 go. That's it. Oh my goodness. Man. That level was not built for those guys though. No. Because <laughs> it just, it took their speed and funneled them into the middle. So it's like, if I can't get the orb, I can't do anything. Okay, how did I do? How did I do? Ah, uh, you're back. I must admit that you did better than I'd expected, girl. You have passed this trial of yours. Some congratulations are in order to you and to your lovely reader. Now farewell. Oh, no, no. <laughs> No, I don't want her back. Oh, oh man. You're, the deal was you keep her. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to come back. Uh, damn it. <laughs> How hard are I going to try to get rid of her? You could send her up to the Commonwealth, but I, I you don't. know you she's, want to get rid of Hedwin first. She's too good, though. Um, she's such I a good character. Did I imagine all of that, mister? Because I hope I didn't. No, nah, it wasn't real. I took like a big whiff of that Stardust stuff. <laughs> we needed that. <laughs> Oh, wow, what is that you have there? You receive Calibers. Rank anklet. 20? What? It bounces. That's good. Dude. That's so good. That's astonishingly good, I would say. God. <laughs> we can't get rid of her. She's too good. Remember, you gotta. Still gotta uh, don't. Yeah. I. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I literally can't even. All right, so let's finally call. Oh, geez, the book <laughs> shaking. Um, let's call it <laughs> next time on Competitor Streak. We will finally end an episode on time. I swear. Yeah, we've done it. We've and ended an episode on time without even messing with the xylophones. A little reward for you guys. <laughs> like, subscribe, and keep the streak alive. Bye.